One of the more important questions that a lot of people ask us then is how you can translate this into something that's useful for most folks. How do you increase the, the garlic content of your diet? And, and we, as well as several of the people that work on the project, have a little dinner club and we've learned all sorts of ways to increase the garlic content in our food. We can add it to hummus dip, we can add it to a number of different things and really elevate your garlic level which is more common in countries like the Middle East or Latin American countries or the Far East where they consume you know, five, ten cloves garlic per day. But we have also found that there are other foodstuffs that contain compounds that also produce H2S and Gloria you found something with shiitake mushrooms. Maybe you can explain that. Yes, we, uh, we look in the, in the literature and uh, we found that the shiitake mushroom contains some as well polysulfides and also, well, onions, onions contain, contain uh, the uh, me, dimethyl uh, trisulfides and disulfides that also produce hydrogen sulfide. As well, a uh, plant in, uh, in South America is called Petiveria aliasia, and these plants contain uh, benzyl. Uh, polysulfides that also produce hydrogen sulfide. So it's a, long, uh, a lot of uh, another compounds that can produce the hydrogen sulfide. So, so historically, people have used these plants for a very long time for their medicinal purposes in their diet, and now we're beginning to find out perhaps one of the major benefits of these is to increase the amount of hydrogen sulfide in our bodies. Now what we've also, and, and other people have shown this as well, is that hydrogen sulfide is naturally produced in the body by metabolizing the amino acid cysteine. And the garlic, as well as these other compounds, may well help to boost the amount of sulfide we have in our body, you know, by, by having these as a dietary item. But humans have also known how to boost sulfide in their bodies for a very long time because the warm, naturally occurring sulfur spas that exist around the world, often in exotic places, people have been soaking in them for a very long time, and when you soak in them for various ailment reasons, you absorb the H2S right through your skin, and that boosts the sulfide production in your body almost like you were eating garlic. Um, even our president, uh, FDR, during his latter days when he was suffering from polio, would visit springs to try to use these to cure and some of those were sulfurous as well. So people have known this for a long time and now science is beginning to show us that in fact it's the H2S that might be the critical component that mediates these benefits. So what we do is we take a small piece of rat blood vessel, it's aorta, and we put it into a chamber and that chamber then contains a solution like plasma so the vessel is kept happy that way we then can measure the tension of that vessel and we can cause it to constrict or allow it to relax. When it's in that chamber, we control the oxygen tension so it's very much like it would experience in the body. We add our hydrogen sulfide sensor so we can measure sulfide if it's present in the liquid. And then we add the red blood cells and or the garlic juice and the garlic juice or the compounds cause a production of H2S simultaneous with a relaxation of that blood vessel. Now, the amount of compounds that we use would be equivalent to, say, eating two cloves of garlic in, a, in a, an adult human, but we can put enough of that juice in there that we can get 20 to 40 or so percent relaxation of that blood vessel. Now, that doesn't mean that we're going to get that much relaxation in our blood vessels, but what it does mean... So I've been requested to, to detail a particular recipe. We take a small tub of hummus, and you take an entire bulb of garlic, peel it, crush it all up, put it in there, so now you have about a third of the whole material is garlic, two-thirds hummus. And then use that to spread on bread or put on vegetables, and it's a wonderful dip. Garlic clinical trials have been done many times, and for the most part, they show a positive effect. But there are, there are some trials that show contradictory effects. And what we think may be going on is that the supplements or the route by which people are getting the garlic extract may not be standardized. So we can standardize them measuring the hydrogen sulfide production in the supplements.